The word brotherhood is very difficult to explain. Unless you're doing it and living it, it's, it's, it's hard to explain it to an average person. A firefighter knows that no matter what happens, he's gonna, his back is going to be covered by another firefighter. And it doesn't matter whether he knows him or he doesn't know him. He's a firefighter. And just having that, uh, a title, a firefighter, means that you're part of a group of people that all they want to do is do the right thing and their biggest concern when they leave their house in the morning is to do a good job and hopefully make someone else's life a little bit better or keep someone from being hurt or killed or injured. That's all firefighters want to do is help people. There's one thing you have to understand that when you're a firefighter, and I don't care where you're from, there's a brotherhood. But the guys in the rescue company honed their skills. So a lot of the people we were looking for were actual friends and people that we had associations with on a regular basis. When you get into the fire service, uh, it's I guess it, a lot of people look at it similar to the military. Uh, guys that, uh, that, that were in the military that have been in battle together. Uh, if you know Vietnam veterans, World War II, uh, Desert Storm. Uh, th those are long-lasting, lifelong bonds when they come out of that. They went through battle. Well, the firefighters and police officers and the EMS people, on a daily basis, we kind of go to war every day in this country. I've been on the Jersey City Fire Department 25 years, and I can tell you we're one big family.